might actually need that full bottle after what happened today. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry, lads. Oh, uh, yes, we've had a tough day, Super Julie Foudy. We're wrong eliminated in the group stage of a World Cup for the first time in years. Well, since the Battle of Yorktown, 1781, uh, we think it might all have started before a ball was even kicked. We've done a deep tactical autopsy. Where did it all go wrong, Davo? The national anthems. Let's go to the tape. First of all, here's Italy. Gianluigi Buffon. Listen to him sing that national anthem with passion. And then Neymar. He can't even get the words out. He's so moved. And now, let's take a look at England's national anthem. <laughs> They're singing with all the enthusiasm of naughty schoolboys ordered to sing their rival's false fight song. And you'll see Glenn Johnson at the moment. I'm not sure if he's singing the national anthem or if he's muttering to his mates where he's about to go on his summer vacation for the next couple of weeks. There he is. <laughs> yeah, not much of a performance. Joe Hart singing a little bit, but it's not just the players, Rod. The lack of passion also spreads to the manager. Mr. Roy, let's first, let's contrast, let's first take a look at Jorge Pinto, his reaction today. CONCACAF THUNDER! Yes, look at that! <laughs> Passion! Look at the cuffs, Look Rod. at that! Those are CONCACAF cuffs! Those are amazing cuffs! And he's just <laughs> upset his team haven't been awarded a good decision. And there is Roy Hodgson <laughs> reacting to Luis Suarez's goal that put England out of the World Cup. Oh, Let's see that again! Antonio uh, uh, Banderas and Melody Griffiths have broken up! Oh. <laughs> Here we go! Uh, 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 what did oh. you say? We oh. used to have an empire. And we certainly don't have an empire now, <laughs> Roy Hodgson. OK, finally, lots of talk in this World Cup, Roger, about midfield diamonds, high defensive lines, lone strikers, tactical formations. It's really a simple game. It's all about getting your talls to play with your smalls. Cue the smalls and talls take package. There he is. Five foot six inches in heels, Mattia Valverde of France with the corner. Six foot four inch Olivier Giroud locks it in. A oh, type all tall. He's an amazing tall. Then the second goal, Rog. Oh, France storming the opposition's defences like, well, no other time in their nation's history. Tall on the ball. Tall on the ball. Passes to Small. Small goal. Small jumps on tall. And he sticks the landing like Mitch Gaylord. <laughs> We love it when smalls and talls come together. Even French ones. Even French oh, ones. Uh, That's it from us in Bob Lee's <laughs> Panic Room. More hard-hitting analysis from us on this tournament tomorrow. That's beautiful. Wait, I have one question for you guys. Go one ahead. question. What was your reaction? I saw, I saw Roy's, but what was yours today? <sighs> I can't talk about it. It was really. sadder than Barbara Hershey in Beaches. Oh, God, yeah. that's so bad. <laughs> so, and, and you wore the celebratory trousers, too, Roger. Copa de la Copa. We do have fruit, though. Is the fruit in Bob Lee's Panic Room real? That's it. We've got to make yeah, this. Yeah, we, we, we stole it from the main studio. We just Mike. I, that, that has been the question I on Twitter. I see Tariqo made your wall as well. Yeah. You're there, yeah, Super Tariqo. Julie. Take Middle Julie. Julie. Right there. We've got to get Have you autographed your picture, by the way? Yeah, yeah, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. We'll try to get Balak up on the wall at some point. Yeah, yeah. Your Chancellor, yeah. Angela. Yeah. Roy, no, but you've got Roy. Michael. Oh, when he did announce, the FA did ask that he would oh. stay through 19, uh, 2016. We're all delighted about that, <laughs> <Yeah>. Mike. <laughs> Great news. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>